Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video I came to do my favorite thing, exposing y'all. So sit back and enjoy me reacting to these K-pop confessions. On to the video. 1. I used to call JYP Entertainment the best company on earth but it was during my first year of being in K-pop. But after that I never called JYP Entertainment the best company because I got to know about their little deeds. OMG I can relate to this so much. I used to believe that JYP was the most purest company out there. But I've come to realize that they are far from that. 2. My friend hated Jenny because of this lazy thing and yesterday she hurt her ankle just like Jenny now she knows how Jenny felt back then. K-pop stands need to stop treating Jenny as a human punching bag. It's so disrespectful. Let the woman breathe. I hope your friend can realize and reflect on themselves. 3. I have never gone through my immature slash toxic fan phase when I started in K-pop. Congratulations to you. You're lucky that you didn't fall into the newbie K-pop fan trap. 4. I was dancing to Moon by Jin and sat on Namjoon's official PC and damaged it. OMG. That is so sad. It reminds me of the time I was dancing to one K-pop song and I got really excited and I fell on the floor and I hurt my leg so bad. I could barely walk for weeks. True story by the way. It hurt for so long. Anyways back to the confession. I'm not sure if I'm the only one. But I didn't know how flimsy some photo cards are. That you can just accidentally damage them like that. This is no hate to Itzy I love them. But more of a question to JYP. Itzy guess who photo cards were so flimsy and thin and I didn't expect them to be like that. K-pop companies can we start using more reliable material for photo cards. Thank you. 5. I like getting into fan wars. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. 6. I thought Wavy wasn't a part of NCT. Don't worry me too. I mean like I knew they were associated with NCT but not having NCT in their name threw me off. I know they are managed by Label V. But why couldn't they have just been called NCTV or something? 7. I lost my Lucas photo card at school once like a year back I guess and dude I fucking cried so much I can't even explain that was literally my favorite one after the one of Itzy I had and I was so sad. It made me so mad and I was literally like god. Why me? Oh no you poor poor soul. People who take their photo cards to school. I beg of you hold on to that shit for real. Losing it is bad enough. But at school, that's a no-no. 8. I used to think Jay and Jake from Enhypen were the ugliest people I've ever seen. Now I bark for them and they are my alts. Ah, uh, it's the... what the key? 9. I bought an album once from a store and then I realized I needed a CD player to use the CD. It still kept unused LMO. This is so relatable. I knew I was going to get the CD from an album of course and I knew I had no CD player. But I still bought it. The CD is just lying in my album as well. I want to buy a CD player for it but it's just like I can stream the songs on my phone. Do I really need a CD player? But I can tell I'm gonna end up wanting one anyway. 10. I got kicked out of a K-pop Discord server cause I didn't ship Taekook. What the actual hell is wrong with people? Just because you don't ship Taekook they kicked you out. Now look here guys. I might get hate for this but I think that Taekook is one of the most whack ass BTS ships. If not the most. I do see some of the chemistry. But most of the time. Taekook is just exaggerated by their shippers. They are just having fun together. You don't have to analyze everything. Taekook shippers are so dedicated. Some of them actually believe that they are dating. Like relax yourselves. Taekook shippers are literally the reason that V and Jungkook might feel uncomfortable around each other. Taekook is the most popular ship in K-pop. So it's pretty understandable why lots of people ship them. But just know. That Discord server is crazy. You should be grateful you're not in it. 11. I find one young from I've ugly. I am someone that usually never thinks of anyone ugly but there's just something about her face that I can't even look at her for more than 5 seconds. Her face looks overly plastic to me I know I'm going to get hate for it but I just can't find her attractive whatsoever. Look I understand that not everyone is going to think everyone is pretty. And that's totally fine. But overly plastic. That's a bit of a stretch. One young reminds me of a Barbie doll. But I don't think she looks overly plastic. 
She has this delicate beauty. If you can't look at her for more than 5 seconds then just don't. It's your free will. Nevertheless props to you for being confident enough to share this confession with me. 12. I like sticker more than favorite or vampire I forgot the title. Guys, I'm about to say something that might surprise some people. I don't know why but I have been streaming sticker a lot more than favorite. I know I said favorite was better than sticker, but sticker is a lot more catchy. Don't add me. Sticker is still a questionable song, but something about it keeps drawing me into it. Favorite is good, it's really good, but I just haven't been streaming as much. To be honest lately I think I enjoy sticker more than I enjoy favorite. I don't know why, but that's just what happened. 13. For some reason, Jenny, V and Stray Kids High Ungen give bullies and mean people vibes. Like I don't know what it is but I feel like they will be the type of people I just wouldn't like. How does a person give off the vibe of a bully? Like I get that some people may look intimidating on the first look, but a bully, no no no. From what I've seen on camera, the three idols look like very lovable people. They just carry themselves in a very prestigious way. That may make them seem scary. But other than that, I'm not getting bully or mean people vibes from them. But who knows right? This is K-pop. We don't know crap about idols personalities. 14. Okay so I'm part of the Indian community in my hometown and one of the girls who's in the community reminds me so much of Giselle since the girl said the n-word and struggles so much at dance. Oh my god, it's not funny. <laughs> 15. I think JYP is kinda hot. <laughs> 16. When I was new to K-pop I thought, netizens and the fans of NCT, NCT Zens were the same thing. Lmao why is this Loki me as well? The similarities between the two names is funny. 17. I don't trust any K-pop fan who still uses Twitter or TikTok. Huge red flag, but the thing is that not everyone using those apps are bad. Of course the apps themselves are toxic, but the minority of people who use them aren't that bad. So we can't generalize everything. When using apps like TikTok or Twitter, it's all fine. All that matters is how you use it. 18. I don't like Squid Game. Not really K-pop but we digress. Personally I found Squid Game to be a very interesting drama. It was unique. And I enjoy how it mentions real life issues. Squid Game is an eye opener. When you really decipher the show's meaning, you can learn a few life lessons. 19. I used to be one of the edgy girl group stands. Dark days I fear. I'm not trying to generalize girl group stands. But the majority of y'all are just men hating people who disguise themselves as feminist. Feminism is about equality, not the female superiority. Keep that in mind. Honestly sometimes I do enjoy the jokes from edgy girl group stands and feminist. But some of y'all take it way too far. Just say you hate men and go. It's not hard. That is why I don't identify as either a girl group or boy group stan. I'm not associating myself with any of y'all. I'm just a K-pop stan. But anyways. I'm so glad you moved on from that. 20. I once found a Lucas photo card lying in my school. I picked it up and well I have that in my phone case he he new photo card. Wait. This reminds me of something. Oh yeah confession 7. Did you find the Lucas photo card that the person lost at school? Or am I just tripping? Do y'all go to the same school? Lmao. The irony. 21. Not gonna lie I find only collecting photo cards of a single member weird like you do you and everything but it feels like solo standing to me idk. No hate to people who do this but it's just weird to me. It really makes me think you are biased. Or are you a solo stan? No hate to the people who do this. You do you. Personally I don't find anything wrong with that. Collecting a specific member's photo cards is easier than trying to collect every member. And collecting only one member doesn't really make you a solo stan. You're usually just collecting your bias. 22. No one would have praised Cherry Young everywhere as the best dancer if she was pretty. Most of y'all are just pity towards her. She's pretty to me but I'm talking about the Korean majority. Cherry Young is quite insecure of herself. She has made it clear. And in one of my other videos I said it didn't make me feel pity of her but it made me feel annoyed. I realized that was not the right thing to say about someone who is insecure and lacks confidence. It feels like you are belittling them. 
So I want to apologize for that. I made that comment in my indirect K-pop opinion video. I didn't mention her name but it was pretty obvious who I was talking about. So again I apologize. Honestly though Cherry Young is stunning. And an amazing dancer. She deserves the praise and way more. We need to support Cherry Young. Instead of engaging with people who insult her. Cherry Young is a queen. She deserves the whole world. 23. I'm not even gonna lie. I thought Giselle was a really good rapper. And one of the top 3 4th gen rappers until I heard her rap to Cherry Bomb. I honestly believe that Giselle can rap. I have no doubt in that. But we haven't seen much from her that actually emphasizes her skill. I liked her rap in her introductory video. But ever since then. I haven't seen much that screams. Giselle best rapper. I want to see more of her rapping. Along with Karina. I think they both have a lot of potential in rap. 24. I honestly prefer Lisa's raps more than Jenny. No hate intended. Personally I enjoy Jenny's raps more. Sometimes it feels like Lisa gets pushed in rapping a lot more than Jenny does. When it's obvious that they both can rap. I say it every time I talk about Blackpink. But hello YG. Where is the comeback? We are starving here. 25. Ever since the Giselle scandal I can't bring myself to standing Easter. That's very valid. If you feel uncomfortable with everything that happened you don't have to stand Easter. Do what makes you happy. 26. I gave audition to a K-pop audition. Was a verified company. As a joke but got selected and they called me and the thing was I gave my friend's number in contact details options and they called my friend and she was hella confused like TF. And she later contacted me and I laughed so much. Lmao that's so funny. But nevertheless you must be really talented to get accepted. This story is so interesting. I genuinely enjoyed reading it. Well guys. That's all the confessions I will be reacting to in this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what kind of videos you would like to see. Thanks so much for watching. Until we meet again.